Well, good morning and welcome to Ohio. This is Windy Hill Kennel. Today is the 21st. This is Judy's rambunctious kids. We just brought them outside and, whoops, I forgot snaps for the fence so I can't move that. I'll have them all over the yard. Uh, they're doing really, really good. Vanessa did weights for me this morning and their activity level is like crazy. So today, I know we're almost ready to wean, not quite, but Judy has had it. So we are taking her away from them several for several uh, parts of the day just to give her a break from these guys. And this is the first time they've seen a bed. So it's always fun to put them in and let you watch when they uh, get up on a bed for the first time and they learn to play hide and go seek. and. We put a rope out here this morning, kind of hoping that maybe we would get a game of tug of war up. So they haven't seen a rope yet, but it gives them something to fight against. And uh, I've seen the day when we've had eight puppies on a rope playing tug of war and it's a riot. So I'm going to go through these while they play and I'm going to give you current weights and see if I can keep an eye on them while I do this. So uh, the red collar puppy, which is a black and white male is 3056 is five pounds 11.5 ounces the pink polka dotted which is the blue merle party female is 30353 is four pounds and six ounces these two down here under me are arguing about something uh the neon green collar puppy which is a black and white female is three pounds i'm sorry 30352 is five pounds one ounce the blue leopard collar, which is a black and white female, is 30351, is four pounds, six ounces. The royal blue collar, the black and white male, 30357, is four pounds, 15 ounces. Uh, light blue collar, black and white female, 30354, is four pounds and eight ounces. The purple collar, which is the blue merle party female, and she is 30358 is three pounds five ounces and the neon pink which is the black and white female is 30355 is three pounds 15.5 so that gives you your current weights on these guys there's the first one up and i can't tell you what color color turned around purple so the purple pup was the first one to adventure up on there Oh, she says, I can't get the back end to go upright. I'll go under. So they're really busy. Um, you can see why Judy's had it. <laughs> the poor thing stands up to nurse them, and they're just hanging all over her. So I feel, I feel sorry for her. Oh, they're noisy. Um... Everybody is completely on dry dog food. Uh, Judy actually hangs out outside most of the time, so they can't get to her. There goes the neon pink collar up on the top of the bed. It becomes a great source of a play toy once they get used to it. And then they're up and down on it all the time. And they hide under it. Somebody will go under and their tail will stick up. And they'll grab their tail for uh, dear life and just about pull somebody's tail off. So I'm just going to pre-warn you, I forgot to turn my airplane mode on. So if this cuts us off near the end, you're going to wonder why all of a sudden I disappear. It's because somebody called me. I can't believe I forgot to do that. Um, so these guys right now, uh, once they come to the house, this is the turquoise collar pup down here underneath me that's screaming at me. Crushing boy. Yeah, that is the purple collar puppy that's chewing on the, the pig's tail down there. Um, they're going to start learning no bark, no bite, no lick. So the big thing everybody's asking me has been about feeding. I do not feed normal like you're probably used to. Um, I didn't feed the way I do when I was a kid. My parents always fed their dogs on a schedule. We have not done that. We do free choice feeding which means your puppy has been eating 24 hours a day. There is at least five pounds of dog food in front of their face all day long. They can go and pick up little nibbles whenever they want. 
They never, never overeat this way. Free choice feeding is wonderful because you never have to worry about, oh, did we feed the dog? What times the dog get fed? So when you get this puppy home, oh my, this one's really noisy. Who is that? That's the neon, that's the pink color with the back polka dots. She is really noisy. Can you bring me toys out of that room? Is there toys? Mm -hmm. And then you'll probably have to stay here to help stick that in if you don't mind. Uh, Vanessa just brought out their bowl of cottage cheese, which they're gonna devour in front of you if we don't get a phone call. Uh, if we get a phone call, I'm gonna do a part two to this. So please, please, if you figure, why did she cut me off so quick? I will do a part two. I figured they'd play tug of war. So Vanessa is giving them a plethora. That's good. This way they can't fight so much. They'll have something to share or something to play with that they haven't seen. We do change toys every day also. But free choice is something that, yes, you can housebreak your dog on free choice. If you would rather do a schedule when they're little and you want to go back to free choice when they're older, you absolutely can. But they will gobble their food like crazy for the first four days because you've always taken it away from them. Also, if you're going to do a schedule, please don't limit them to what the bag says they should have. Because that... Oh, they just realized what they got, didn't they? Uh, we, we may have a little... Oh, you just as well give it to them. I won't be able to do this. They just spotted their cottage cheese. So we're just going to go ahead and give it to them. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to, you won't hear anything. They're just going to scream. You have to show them you put it in. They think she's still got it. So they get cottage cheese once. Oh, that one's right in the middle of the pan, Vanessa. <laughs> Move the candle. There you go. Uh, they get cottage cheese every day, at least once. And I don't know, Vanessa probably put a full cup of cottage cheese in there. Yeah. It won't last very long at all. A few seconds and they're going to down that and then they're done. Um, but we put their probiotics in it. Uh, we, if we have, usually it's a probiotic source. But the reason we feed cottage cheese, it is great for their coat. It's got lots of calcium, lots of protein, lots of fat, which all puppies need. And it just gives them an extra source of those ingredients. Plus, it's a great carrier to get their probiotics down them. Uh, their vitamins are done separately, but probiotics are a powder, so we put it in their cottage cheese. So once they're done, they're gonna be an absolute mess. <laughs> their faces will be trashed, and then they'll clean each other's face off for a while. Well, I need you to take that pan in just a sec, because they're almost done. Um, but they're doing great. Um, they've been, oh, there's one right in the middle of the pan. So whoever has the green leopard collar, the blue leopard spots on that collar, your puppy is a slob. It got right in the pan. <laughs> it doesn't care who it gets on or what happens. It wants all the cottage cheese it can get its face on. Uh, and they know when we're getting it because in the mornings when we're getting it ready, as soon as we snap the lid on the cottage cheese container, these guys go bananas. Oh, yeah, they're getting it all over them. That's just, look at those faces. <laughs> oh, my. Uh, and what they don't clean off, Mom does, but they love cottage cheese to the point that they clean their own faces off. So, yeah, oh, my gosh. The one with that blue leopard spotted collar on, it is a mess. You ought to see its feet. Ah. Oh. They're cleaning. They're going to clean every drop off that pan they can get. So we feed this separately. We do not put it in their food. So if you're going to continue, I would say give them... Oh, that was... <laughs> Sorry. Vanessa and I... Vanessa's over there dying on the sidewalk. That puppy did a backflip into the bowl. Uh, uh, it's funny. The things they do when they eat, I've seen puppies shove underneath another one and throw the puppy up in the air to get it out of the way. So they know it's about gone, so the rest of them's going, oh, forget it, we're going to go play. I think that one could just clean its feet off. Oh, good grief. This is the one that was in the pan. Oh, my golly. So anyway, a couple tablespoons is plenty. We do them in a separate bowl, um, and we, uh, you're going to fall. <laughs> she made it. Oh, now they're going to go, where'd the pan go? She's going in and get their kennel ready for them to go back in. Um, sh there's about a 5 foot by 10 foot kennel they're in, so that gets all lined with a couple layers of white paper. 
so they don't uh, make a mess in there. But we do do it in a little separate bowl. Uh, it just gives them that extra boost. And like I said, it gets us to get their probiotics down them. If you do buy cottage cheese, if you have a GFS, which is Gordon Food Service in your area, or some place that sells the large commercial tubs, which is about a four or five pound tub, we buy four cases at a time. We have a refrigerator that just keeps our cottage cheese in. And um, if you store it upside down, it will last you a month and a half. If you buy the kind in the grocery store and you store it upside down, it will leak all over your refrigerator. They actually manufacture the standard cottage cheese that you buy in the grocery. They manufacture the lids to leak air. So once you snap it on and put it in your refrigerator, that lid is manufactured to let air in. So it molds and you have to go back and buy cottage cheese in about three or four days. So the commercial cottage cheese is awesome. I Usually I'm really bad. Vanessa doesn't like cottage cheese. And when we open the new ones up, I usually take a couple spoonfuls out for myself and eat it before I dip the puppies out. Um, so let's see. What else can I throw at you? Um, I am sending you home with some probiotics. I will give you the name of the kind of probiotics that we use, or you can also buy probiotics from Nature's Pharmacy, which is going to be one of your sources on your uh, supply list. Your supply list is going to be your best friend. So when you get that home, make sure you call all the 800 numbers, get a catalog, get on the mailing list. Um, you know, we'll talk about it when you get here, and there are some that have, um, <laughs> there, got it have a really good websites that have a learning center that you can you can actually learn things about your puppy and things that you want you know to use oh my gosh this puppy is having the worst <laughs> that's the purple collar look at that face oh are you a mess you're all a mess now but it's funny they'll be all cleaned up in about an hour because they'll lick it off of each other's face so um when you come to pick up your puppy and you come up my driveway. So I'm either going to do it today or do it tomorrow. I think I'll do it later this week uh, or la later next week. Next week is crazy busy. So I'm going to try and get you a video on on Monday or t maybe Monday. Because Tuesday I go to the vet with Buffy and Dory. And this got really dark in the shade. Let's see if I can brighten this up any. And uh, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday... Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, we have 14 puppies going home. So I know I don't think I'm going to have a chance whatsoever to do a video uh, anytime except maybe Monday or Tuesday afternoon. But we will try and get something on there for you. Oh, crash and burn. Boy, they're, they're really ornery today. Usually you don't have to break these up. They'll take a quick spat, and then they're done. So that was their quick spat and done. Um, please, the uh, videos that I sent you early on that have uh, about the go-home packet, please write down your questions you might have, bring those with you, and we will try and answer anything we can. There's the turquoise collar sitting right there, too. I don't know if you've all spotted your puppies by now or not. Uh, the neon green is right there by the bed with his head under the bed and his little butt up in the air. I'm trying to see who's who in here. It is so hard to see these collars. That's the one, this is the one right there going under the bed that was in the middle of the cottage cheese pan. It has that blue turquoise collar. Uh, neon orange is right here under me with a messy face. Or is that pink? That's pink. There's red, okay, there's red. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to spin that so fast. There's the red collar. I know that little purple one just attacked that one. Who's that? That's the pink polka dots running around the far side over there. And neon green is right there. So I got to get off. I'm out of time. We made it with no phone calls. Have a great weekend. And call me with any questions. Talk to you later.